Hey guys, this is uh, Snowy and welcome to City Skylines Bus Town Part 26. Oh my gosh, you know I had a lot of work in Part 25 with this, uh, this entire hub area over here with all these cargo terminals that had to be created, all the roundabouts, all these connections, all that stuff and later on also the um storage the warehouses of course and okay m most of these things are still turned off because there is no real input yet because as you can see no you cannot see because i have not pressed the escape button yet which i do now there is no industrial demand so what i'm going to do now is like um i'm going to create here on this part of the island between the residential area roughly here and this uh, hub over here i'm going to create a commercial center over here yeah that's the entire idea so okay so i'm going to remove all this uh, you know all this stuff what uh, it's in my way over here so i select the move it mod and basically i select everything but, oh not that road select everything yeah like that like that and i say like bulldoze and it will be gone bulldoze 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 okay so that is nice uh now let me see about all these colors i'm seeing um ground resources uh, i think this is oil let me can we remove that no wait a second uh oh no it was ore ah, okay this is also ore hmm. okay because we don't want that stuff you know be visible in our uh, you know in our nice looking uh, area you know for commercial stuff um this little piece of water can remain um well yeah what i never showed uh, in the previous episode that i added this uh, monstrosity did i no i did not right <laughs> no i did not even uh, lane math mathesize this whole uh, con con contraption so but you know what i will that do that the other day first of all we uh, yeah we are going to uh, focus on a uh, you know a big commercial area now that means like that i have to change this uh, this uh, t-junction over here to something else now let me pause the game for a moment and let's take the move it mod and let's remove all this stuff here we go it's gone um we need a relative simple and i say relative simple uh overpass and you know what i think the best idea is just to use a yeah a roundabout yeah that goes we are going to do something different this time yeah normal wise i would say like okay put the highway to this and to that and then put a uh, roundabout in the air and this time we are going to do it just the opposite so i'm going to connect this to there and this to there and i'm going to select now this entire area like from here to here to here to here, to here. i think that is yeah now we're going to sink this into the ground yeah oh that seems like uh, a lot <laughs> i think it's a little bit too much i think let me let go a little bit up again yeah i think i think is that better no it can still be a little bit more up yeah like that now the advantage is like i can just put a roundabout straight over it yeah so let's put a roundabout there and I say like we pick the three lane highway where is it with the sound barrier and we select the free cursor mode so I can place it everywhere I like and I want to make sure that that road is coming actually uh, proper through it so let me select that road first so it's coming in 
you know, here in an angle. Hmm, okay, I actually don't want that. So let's take this. Let me, let me check out this road. Uh, look, this is a little bit of an angle. Okay. Um, 10 meters, so <laughs> this is just temporary. Just in tunnel mode. No, not tunnel mode. Come on, stay at stay at ground level, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now let's remove you. Um, so what do we have here? Okay, let's connect that to there. Uh, okay. That's nice. Now select this whole thing. Select align to object and we align it to this and here we go. We're done. Only we have like the wrong road. Which is not a bad thing because we can always change that. Why am I underground? Jeez. Who am I, Senia? Mm, okay. Close this and now remove this. Okay, now we are getting back to the roundabout maker okay let's make this one big like that because it has to overlap this thing okay now let's put this circle uh, this black circle in the middle here straight and in the middle and also align it up with the road that is coming towards it uh, elevation minus five no it has to be zero radius I prefer 80 because that gives usually the best nodes at least from what I've seen and let's put it straight there and undo I made a mistake here because this thing was still set to yeah to down to earth that was not a smart idea okay back free cursor mode we try this again and we put it I'm oh, still minus five come on zero Oh wait a second! Of course, it, this does not work because it its, elev its elevation is towards this ground area. Ah, I see. That is indeed a problem. Okay, so what would be the height? I don't know. Twelve. Well, it's not, you know, it's no problem. Let's just see what it gives. Um, okay, put it like that. And how far does it go into the ground? Uh, okay, I think I think it's not bad. Let's see. And let's let's alter this now to a normal round like that, like that, like that, 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 and that. Uh, this is kind of weird, you know. This stuff. What is this? I, should, should I turn this into a brick? No. I think, yeah, maybe I need these segments. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Already I'm like, uh, this is more work than, uh, than I thought. Uh, hey, there are no legs here. This is a floating roundabout. Yeah, the floating roundabout. Anyway, um, let's connect this road up to it. Um, okay, let me see where are the okay where are the connection points there and there. Uh, okay, that will also be an issue because we need this roundabout, yeah, not to deform. So create that to there, that one to there, and that one to there. The so-called braces. Yeah. Okay. Now we need this one. Put it down. Do we have everything selected properly? Yeah, we have. And I want it to come down from here to there, and from here to there. Yeah. Okay. Now let's turn this around. You can definitely see this one is uh, floating, but it's okay. It's not a it's a, it's not a drama. It's like uh, that's fine. Uh, okay, let's remove this, 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 because this is uh, also new for me, you know, to do uh, and this and this. Uh, yeah, 
what I'm doing now is like crap. <laughs> Look at that truck! <laughs> he made a dive, nose dive first. Yeehaw! Okay, so now we have like get out of the underground. Now, what we need for a you know what we need for a, um, 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 a commercial area is obviously a big parking lot. That is like I think one of the most important things uh, that we need. But before we can do that, we have to uh, make sure that we have enough space around here. So we are going to flatten this area nice out until the river, like that, and like that. So all the way to there, which is nice, 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 nice. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, we create this road from here as well. So this will be a main road and now I have to decide. This is a main road. Okay, that will go all the way to there. That's nice. And it will go around this area to this area. And then let me see back to here. Shall I connect it to there? I'm not so sure about that. If that, if that is a wise choice, create another junction over here. Mm, I think it's not a wise choice to do. So let it just be like that. And here, um, let's do it like this. And let's follow the contours of this, you know, this shoreline like that. And then roughly to around here. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see, can we make a curve here or is it too tiny? Uh, yeah, it's doable. Now, about this big, big, big parking spot. Um, we need, yeah, 40 meter parking spot. So, okay, so um, the parking area must not become a drive through area. I have noticed that here in the main city, like for example here, that when you connect this up like this, that people are going to use it as a normal road. So uh, I will avoid that at all costs here. So in that case, I say like, okay. And we also have to make sure that it is diff it over the area so we create like uh, let's see a big one over here also one all the way over there and also one over here this is going to be extreme this is going to this is going to be extreme parking I mean this is more about the parking than about the commercial stuff. But you know what? It's fine. I mean, this is something I like to see, actually. I like to see this uh, happening. Uh, now, you know me, how this goes with, uh, with this parking stuff. Um, you know, I'm going to fill all this stuff up. It go, it's going to be a monotonous uh, bleh, job. But I, I know now how to copy-paste this stuff. So that's at least, you know, a plus... Uh, point so uh yeah let's get cracking and uh i'll see you in a moment
Okay. Oh my life. This is like uh, one of the most hideous uh, and biggest uh, parking lots I ever made. Look at the, the sheer amount of... Uh, <laughs> It's, uh, it's utterly crazy. So, but um, it's also creating in an interesting, uh, you know, uh, concept of, uh, well, you know, to make these shops. Um, now, the thought is going through my mind is like, put a, do I put this road next to the parking lot and the shops on the other side of the shops next to the parking lot? I think. Um, let me see if I do like this no. if I do like this then I have, I have three okay so two okay so we make it even less like that then we have like four yeah okay like that and that okay three and that so okay we have like an entrance and an exit that will oh we're all the way go to there and there here they come back together and then at this point oh come on come on in the middle thank you you go to there so this is the general idea of uh, where all the commercial will have to go okay so that is settled uh do we do also put one over here or not um Oh, I already found like a good idea for the uh, for the main road. This one, which will go like there. Uh, seven, eight, six, five. Let's make it in a nice bend of like uh, six U. Yep, like that. Let's make it go there, and then let's make it go over over this road. And you know me, I always do a 12 by 12. And that we will connect up to there. Now in here, I don't know if it's possible, but maybe, you know, just maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Can we go underneath here? Yes, we, we can. The only thing we need to do is shift those pillars a li little bit, although they are standing on the, they're not standing on the road actually, just on the on the path. You know what, just let them be. Uh, I think it's okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see, this road can, uh, where can it go? It can go, um, yeah, everywhere basically. Now let's take the move it mod and Select this stuff and move it. Uh, well, actually, all these all these little roads here are slowing down these trains, uh, you know, because they are all, all everywhere these passing. So let's remove them as well. Another thing you did not see is uh, is the connection I made here. This connection was formerly just a uh, a corner, and I decided to make this uh, road coming from this highway. And I attached it here, and I was thinking like, okay, what shall I make? You know, and I was like in a uh, I don't know <laughs> in a mood to build something. And uh, holy smoke, everything is like empty over here. No demand. Yeah, it's just because there is so much um, there is so much industry already in the in the city. So, but it's okay. You know what? Let's just remove this industry over here. Also here, let's remove it. And yeah, so that was all the industry. And once that is removed then, and the ground is cleared up, then we can say like, okay, we will build uh, some residentials over there. I mean, that would be fine. Now, what about these guys? Um, yeah. 
so we still have a little bit of that left mm, okay now I don't want to put residentials in this area to be honest I really don't so let's put another batch of commercial in here and here yeah and let's create some pathways between you know what all these areas um, also so another thing to you know to consider the fact is that uh, these these roads do, do, do not have pedestrian crossing so you have to make them yourself like like this and also like this and maybe like this okay um bloop, where are we here okay let's connect up from here to there from here to there i hear my computer is like you know and all on all sides <laughs> connect this up to there from there to there from there to there so people can walk directly to uh, to that area okay now we need another pedestrian crossing over here and over here and over there even over there great okay we're building more of this stuff yeah yeeha nice nice and from here to here it's like going to be uh how about right yeah i don't know roundabouts here uh roundabouts yeah if i create roundabouts here then it will be very tight you know in regards to that road so maybe that's not such a good idea maybe only yeah a better idea is to make uh, these pedestrian uh, crossings put them over here like that and then put them, them down like that yeah like that like that like that and then also like that you know i wish i could copy this whole uh, contraption if i select copy uh, without the road road and i select this everything what does it select only this oh yeah oh yeah copy does that work copy come on copy I, hmm? copy I selected it I am clicking on copy ah thank you thank you okay now it's just a matter of putting it at the right spot uh, you know this should be working fine and it does great uh, oh well, we only have like two of them uh, okay uh, okay all the way okay <laughs> so put this away put this away okay so we have connections there as well now let's do something about these um, you know all these junctions yes all these junctions first of all i say like i press the shift button and say like pats the entire road here uh, you can go on the entire road here has priority this is just just the main road only here we have to turn them around like that um also if we click on lane arrows you see now that we have like uh, lanes which are not designated so when pressing the control button and do this then it automatically gives every lane its own function so i do that to every uh, no that's not the uh, idea i select the lane arrows here here we go like that click this again let me see we did that we we do it over oh wait a second this is not going right. oh i press the shift button okay let's do it like that yes and we do it over here and over here and 
again. Okay. We do it over here. Kaching. And over here. Kaching, 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 kaching. Yep, yep, yep. And over here. Also over here, twice. And here. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that will do. So already that this cost a lot of time, you know, <laughs> just do by doing this, uh, by making such a, well, relative simple thing. I will not place any, uh, you know, residential areas over here, uh, because the residentials have to come from here. And I have to wait until this area cleans up. Um, let me check this out. Do we have any of this stuff here? No, we don't. Um, Okay, um, the only thing that is coming to my mind is like using a metro system. Mm, let me see, how is a metro currently situated? We have this yellow orange line, this purple line is a train line. Uh, yeah, that would be interesting to put like... Mm, yeah, connection point from here all the way to there. Uh, let me see. I'm, I can always put these here because... Uh, let's see. We have like... Well, just three in a row. So, you know what? We are going to place in the middle. One here and one there. And then also on the other side. Uh, let me see. Did I forget the... Uh, Yep, I forgot it. The, uh, you know, pathway from here to there. Mm, and also the pedestrian crossing is missing. Here we go. Do I have it now? So right of that. Yeah. Okay. Now we are placing these on the other side there. And... This is the right one, and you go there, yeah. Okay, now we need like... Let me think quickly, quickly, uh, two places where we are going to connect this up. Um, let me see, we have this yellow, big yellow line. So here we have a station here and we have a station here. I love to connect it up to this station or put it close by. Uh, let me see. I think this would be a nice spot. They can walk straight from there to there. So what are these things anyway? What are the, what, uh, okay, those are right, 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 right. Hmm, okay. Yeah. How many people are in there? 10 to 40 work workers? Okay, we can lose one of those. Okay, so we put like one metro then over here. That's an easy walk. So we have one station there for the yellow line. And now we need a station here close to the orange line over here. And that will be not on a main road, of course. Um, well, actually, this is not a main road, this one. No, it is not. Uh, put it just on the other side. Yeah, yeah, just put it on the other side. Great. Now let's connect this stuff up. Let's go down by 12 meters. Now we have to connect this to that. In the last piece is like that one that's great so now we can connect the stuff up you can go there 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 and there there 
this is a very long line to there and then from here to let me see where is that other station it's here right yeah that will make people happy and from here all the way back to here complete line now the other way connected here yeah and then connected here as well you know i love the metro because the metro is just you know it's just easy it's like it's like you can put it on the ground nobody sees it it does not take uh, much space you can like put 180 people in one carriage and uh, you know it's done okay that metro is done now let me check out the metro system um it's let me see its name it's let's see it's green color of course it's this this one so this one and this one yeah let's give it another color uh just just make it red i don't know it's okay just red mm, this one is also red mm, okay then make it a uh, i don't know sort of orange yellow yellowish uh, like that is that roughly the same yeah it's roughly the same I'm not so worried about that, you know, it's like, a, who cares. Um, because this is a very long line, I would say like, um, we put uh, a lot of, a uh, few more stage, um, car uh, car carriages, carriages, yes, that's the name, right, of these things. Carriages? Yeah, I think so, okay, lines overview. Metro carriages, yeah. I often want to say like, ah, oh, we are going to put more metros. No, not metro. The metro carriages. It's the actual vehicles that drive through the metro itself. Yeah. Okay. So we are seeing now there is a little demand again for commercial, which is good. So that means that at this point I'm going to say, okay, we're going to put like mm, this over here and this over here so are cars already coming into this direction or not is there even any car parked yet in this huge parking lot it's like whoa what are they complaining not enough customers so guys can you come shopping please please Or do I need to? Yeah, we need. Yeah, maybe. You know what? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, let's remove this and replace it by these guys. No, not those guys. No, 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 no. These guys, because we have a demand for uh, residential. We have, a we have a shortage of um, of commercial in the other area, so you know why not put these guys here like that? Let's see where do we have more substantial areas uh, over here, for example. So let us remove this and put like residential in place and well these parking lots also have to be used uh, you know and this is just low residential uh, let me see mm -hmm. yeah this yeah it's just you know small amount but still okay put some of that yeah i think this will uh, this will grow in time um yeah so um it takes time and uh whoa wrong button it takes time and uh i even did not even connect these up to the highway oh, okay well i will do that uh, off screen so um so guys what are your thoughts about this uh you know Eventually, when this all will be grown up and, and be fed by uh, 
by the people from here and then it will output to there or get a stuff from there and, the, and there will be an industry over here maybe a fishing industry uh, or some other kind of ore industry or farming industry all kind of industries will be going around this area so uh, yeah it's going to be pretty interesting this is like uh, this is looking insane actually like this so uh, okay guys thank you for watching and uh, i hope to see you soon in part 27 see you bye bye